right here we have um, fireweed and it's growing actually uh, pretty vigorously in an area where I've never seen it grow before and it's just like one example for me of how amazing this year has been. I've seen so many uh, species of flowers where, you know, before I've seen them, you know, pretty good numbers, but this year it's like there's an entire field of them. Or ones that are to me like those rare treats that I, I never even you know, maybe see in, in a season and suddenly I've seen, you know, 20 of them and, you know, I'm out here quite a bit, you know, but um, to see them, you know, once a week is just amazing to me. One of the things that I really get to enjoy about certain flowers is uh, like this one here, fireweed. Um, I, I don't know why they call it fireweed, but to me, um, it's always been one of those flowers that signifies the changing of the seasons for me. It starts flowering at the bottom and works its way up and by the time it gets all the way up to the tip here and the last flower is at the very tip, it usually means that fall's about to start. And once it does that, the seeds down at the bottom, I don't know if it's ready to do it yet, but there's these um, very fluffy seeds that it develops that uh, when you run your hand up it, it just kind of spreads out and flies everywhere. So I've always kind of enjoyed walking along them and running my hands up. And uh, the leaves themselves turn bright fire orange and red, which makes me think of autumn foliage. Well, I would definitely attribute it to the heavy snowpack that we had this past winter. Um, it's just provided that lingering moisture um, that's allowed the seed bank to really germinate this year. And last year was actually a pretty um, wet year as well. So I think that, you know, the flowers were able to generate possibly a really nice seed bank last year. And then this year having these great conditions allowed all of those seeds to germinate. So, um, you know, and that's just speculation, but you know, when I talk to people that live up here, that seems to be the general consensus. The flowers move as the season changes up the hill. The snow's melting in the high country right now at like eight, 9,000 feet, and they're just starting to come out up there. So I'd say in a, a couple of weeks up in the Sonora Pass area um, and that kind of elevation, you're gonna find the wildflowers really starting to pop off. Right now we're between six to 7,500 feet and the wildflowers are doing really well here, but there's gonna be probably another wave of certain flower species still coming in that we haven't even seen yet. So it kind of comes in succession. It is quite hairy. Yeah, I would go with that. There's some really big monkey stars. Let's see. We have the alpine lily, the largely blue fin, the seed monkey flower, the corn lily, the cow parsnip, 